Hello, and welcome to the instructional series. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a three dimensional geometry on 3D Experience platform. Now, let us create a new 3D part. To do so, select a new content command from the Add menu. In the New Content dialog box, click the Tools icon and select the option to Set Attributes at Creation for All Types. This option lets you assign, in naming any PLM object, at the time of creation. Select 3D Part under Favorites. In the 3D Part dialog box, enter Pipe Intersection Part as the part name. Now, switch to the 3D Shape tab and rename it as Pipe Intersection Shape. Now, you will see, the new 3D part is created under the specification tree. Every 3D part utilizes the four data structure. 3D shape, part body, geometrical set, feature list. In our case, our part has 3D shape which normally contains the datum planes, and a part body. Part body is a group of features, combined to represent a solid part or product. A 3D part can have any number of bodies but only one can be active at a time. Inactive bodies can be included to the active bodies by performing Boolean operations. Next, we are going to sketch the pipe geometry. To do so, from the action bar, select the model section. Select the position sketch tool. In the specification tree, select the YZ plane as a reference plane. You are now in the sketcher mode. Now, select the Circle tool from the Sketch section. Let's draw the two concentric circles centered at the origin. And place their perimeter points on the horizontal axis. Select the inner circle, click the Constraints tool that appear. And dimension the inner radius to be 139 mm. Similarly, dimension the outer circle radius to be 228 mm. All edges are now colored green, indicating that the sketch is fully constrained. Now, use the Fit All In tool from the View section to fit the entire sketch on the available space. Click on Exit App tool to exit the sketcher. Here, you can see the sketch feature gets added into the specification tree. Now, create a pipe geometry by extruding the created sketch. To do so, select the Pad tool from the Model section. Required sketch will get automatically selected as Profile. The thickness of the pipe is 458 mm. Let's select the Mirror Extent option. To extrude the pipe symmetrically about the YZE plane. Enter 229 mm as the length. Next, let's sketch the profile of the intersecting pipe. Select the Plane tool to create a sketch plane. In the Plane Definition dialog box, choose Offset from Plane as the type. Select the XY plane as the reference. Specify 528mm as the offset. And click OK. Now, Create a position sketch using Plane 1 as the support. Use the Circle tool to draw the sketch. Draw the circle of the radius as 84 mm. And exit the sketcher. Let us extrude the sketch too. In the Pad Definition dialog box, choose Up to the Surface as the type, and select the outer surface of Pad 1 as the limit. Now, next step is to create a pocket. Therefore, Create Sketch 3 using the Plane 1 as the reference plane.
Draw a circle having a radius of 50 mm. Exit the sketcher. Now, let's create pocket for intersecting pipe. Select the pocket tool from the model section. In the pocket definition dialog box, make sure that sketch 3 is selected as the profile. Then, select up to next as the extent of the pocket. Click OK. We can also apply fillets to the edges. From the action bar, select the edge fillet tool. Enter 40 mm as the fillet radius. Next, select edge at the intersection area. In the last step, we are going to quarter a model. To do so, select the Transform section. Select the Split tool. In the specification tree select YZ plane as the splitting element. Click the arrow to flip the direction, so that it points in the negative X direction. The direction of the arrow determines which half is to be retained after the split operation is performed. Here onto the screen, we can see that the model is halved. Now, we will repeat the previous steps to create the quarter model. Select the ZX plane as the splitting element. That conclude the demonstration of working with geometry on 3D Experience platform.